Hey guys, we join you again with another series of how-to videos. Today we'll be showing you how to tie-dye a t-shirt. Not only are we doing that, but we'll also be showing you some tips and ideas of how to keep your tie-dye shirt looking brand new. We will also touch base on the science of tie-dyeing itself and hoping you can take the knowledge and apply it to your own tie-dyeing experience. For this project, you will need a 100% cotton white t-shirt, gloves, a variety of color dyes, all purchasable online at a local art and craft store, a bottle to put the dye in that allows you to control the flow of the dye, rubber bands, preferably not thick hair ties, soda ash, and a bucket. First, you take your white t-shirt. It's important that it's 100% cotton because any synthetic or man-made materials do not bond with the dye. You then soak it well in the soda ash for about a half an hour or so. After soaking, take your shirt and slowly wrap it around your index finger, making a spiral. The reason you soak your shirt in the soda ash is because the water opens up the bonding sites in the cotton fibers, making it easier for the dye molecules to bond. After you've made your spiral, take your rubber bands and place them in a perpendicular fashion. Four rubber bands or more should do the job. After you've done that, take your dyes that you've chosen and add it to each section as desired. It doesn't really matter how you put the colors, it's your t-shirt, you do what you want. And remember, it's an experiment. While applying dyes onto the shirt, make sure you get the dye on both the front and back side. Using the cotton t-shirt will make the dye bonds come together a lot more strongly, making the t-shirt more vibrant and colorful. The reason for this is because the dye becomes a permanent part of the cotton fibers. Once you are done, let it sit for a good 10 or 20 minutes on a cooling rack to let excess dye drip off before moving it elsewhere.
washing, make sure you do not wash in hot water. To keep colors vibrant, it is best to hand wash your t-shirt in cold water the first couple washes. Put the shirt in the dryer after the dye is done setting. Note, this may result in a very colorful dryer. After you've washed out your shirt a good couple times, you should be done.